Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now I've been asked a few times how I format my floppy disk to work on the C64. Well, I thought I'd put a little video together to show you how I do it. Now this is using a Mac. It doesn't really make any difference if you use a Windows machine, but this is how I do it with the Mac. Step one, obviously you need a floppy drive. And purely because I don't have another disc at hand. I have thousands of discs, but not at hand. But that is an Amiga floppy. I have already formatted it, but I'm going to format it again, put some games on, and then put it into the C64, and hopefully it should work. Let's see what happens. So here we are, here's my The C64, as you can see, and we have my floppy disk drive. So this is the same disk that was plugged in a few minutes ago, number one written on it. No idea what it had on it originally, um, where's the lead? There we go. Okay, it seems to be live. This is very difficult with one hand. So let's move across to media access. It seems to read the files. Let's turn fast load off for the sheer novelty. And load. So as you can see as long as your floppy drive is formatted to FAT12, I know I said, said somewhere FAT32 but I didn't mean that, uh, it needs to be FAT12 which is the standard floppy um, formatting Uh, you should be good to go. So that is how you format a floppy drive on a Mac for a 64. Now I do have a U1541 which is a USB to uh, 1541 funnily enough. Now I'll be having a play with that later. It's not much use at the moment for this system as as far as I know, Vice doesn't 
accept or recognize it in any way shape or form but I have a little project at my sleeve which um, which should be a bit of fun let's see if Mario works he should do it's me it's Mario 